tell me about like when you transition from where you were mm -hmm. in simulations to now like training for uh mission control like how, when you got that what was the experience when they told you hey we're moving you to this department it was uh it was freaking surreal i so i have always you know wanted to sit in mission control when i was in college people were like what do you want to do after college and i'm like you know um i don't know if you're familiar with apollo 13 but the image that I have of Apollo 13 is Tom Hanks calls down to Houston and he's fatigued and he's like, I need someone to check my numbers for me. And you see like three people in mission control check his numbers and they're like, he's good. He's good. He's good. Uh -huh. And so I always tell people, I'm like, I want to be that person at NASA who like double checks the numbers in mission control. And so it's always in my goal. And so when I got hired at NASA, I was like, I'm good for anything. I will learn as much as I can, become an expert at it, and then, you know, try and see if I can transition to mission control. The timing was right. I applied, and my lead at the time, <laughs> funny story, we're good friends now, but we had just gotten into a bit of a, a tip okay. <laughs> the, morning, the morning of, and um, nothing had been announced yet, and he left, and I was still on site, and he texted me going, they want you for GC. And I was like, no way. And like, <laughs> oh my God. And I couldn't tell anyone for, I think I found out in like late August and I had to have the interview, like the interview, right. Um, Cause they backfilled from there. They didn't seek someone from outside. They backfilled from inside. Okay. And um, as soon as he texted me that I walked out of my building and I called my parents and I cried. <laughs> I was like, it's happening. But um, the feeling was surreal because it was like an immediate hit of like heaviness of like, I just felt everyone that had come before me, like all of the mm. history that I have always been looking up to have been reading at, reading up uh, all of my um, idols. I was like, yeah. oh my God, I'm gonna be working a alongside these people. and. Um, very much uh what's the word um we talk about it all the time uh imposter syndrome i was like okay. do they this is like my 18 year old self i'm like i still feel like i'm 18 going into this job i'm like do they do they know who they just hired like <laughs> I'm, th this is great they're they're you know i beep in whenever i go in and i badge in and um that was a horrible sentence but um i like badge in and put in my code and I'm just like, how did they, how did I get access to this? <laughs> like, this is crazy. You know? Do you um, like, every time you look around, every time you punch in, are you like looking around to see if like. I'm like, <laughs> where are the punked cameras? Like, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's wild. And um, I don't think it's fully hit me. Um, but yeah, back to that day, it was just, uh, it was crazy. And I would go into like almost trance like states where I'm just like holy cow like all of I've wow. been working towards like is like finally coming to fruition and um you know if I think about it too much I'll just break down <laughs> <laughs> in a good way um but yeah it was just surreal to answer your question I know that was the roundabout way but uh well, that's yeah. fantastic to hear so so what is what is like your day-to-day -day like now compared to before um, well, I'm mostly home. So uh, before it was, once we got rolling with the pandemic, it was like one week on, one week off. Okay. Um, and we had a certain shift, right, per month. And I think we talked about that. And for the past year and a half, I've been on days, which is like 545, <laughs> which I loved. Um, and now it's like eight to four which is like, this is like weekend time for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I, oh my God, I get to sleep in. Um, but day to day, I'm mostly looking at PowerPoints and trying to learn as much as I can before the storm hits, um, yeah. <laughs> which is in late February, I start official training. And so now I'm just kind of shadowing people um, trying to just absorb stuff and, uh, it's kind of like a limbo period. Um, okay. but yeah, that's, so it's 
pretty chill for now. And I'm kind of getting tired of it, but I'm also like itching to, you know, get started, I guess. Yeah. Wow. So you're just, yeah. What, like, what is the, the learning material look like? Like uh, how many of these PowerPoints, how many books, how many, Um, how much reading material? uh, Am I allowed to curse? Sure. Okay. Okay. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Never mind. Um, <laughs> it is. It is. It is. I thought about it. I was like, maybe not. Um, it is so much. It is. Um, one of the things I talked to to my lead. I think I had a meeting with him two weeks ago. He was like, "So, so how's it going?" And I was like, "You know, uh, a lot of my ear. Excuse me. Sorry. They're too big for my ears. Can you hear me?" Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of it is like, I'll say 90% of it goes, flies over my head. Um, (laughs) and so it's like, I can be looking at a PowerPoint, you know, for an hour a day for the entire week. And I'll, you know, it'll be 35 slides and I will absorb 10% of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's, it's just, I feel like I've been fire hosed with information <laughs> for the past two months. Um, you know, every time I go on site, people talk to me as if, you know, I know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> and for lack of a better word. And I'm just like, just trying to g- grasp at straws. And it's a really interesting experience to just, you know, not know a lot. And I know coming in the next two years, I I will get a lot more information and I will absorb more. But right now I'm like, I'm starting at ground zero, just trying to learn, um, uh, what's the word? Not Enneagrams, acronyms. Um, (laughs) Enneagrams. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And so I like, my dad and I made like note cards of like 50 acronyms from like two PowerPoints. It's like, okay, let me at least just get the acronyms, you know? Um, so yeah, sorry. So I you're like, rant. so you're like locked, locked in. You have to be like super focused, right? For now or <laughs> for like two years right now, I'm kind of limboing, but yeah, I have to, you know, they have every, <laughs> they have me scheduled for something every week until September. And then in like a couple of months, they're going to fill out the, the rest of the year and of next year too. So okay. it's just like, okay. Um, okay. Hit so me. You, you're like not even in it yet, but you're, no. you're, you're about to. Yeah. The storm's coming. Yeah. You no, got like a, a tsunami storm. ahead of you. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm just trying really hard because I'm somebody um, who I love being busy. I love having yeah. work and goals and things to work forward to. And so for me, it's really hard right now to just be like, okay, just enjoy the chill time. <laughs> Cause you're not going to have a moment like no. this for a while. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting period, but um well, I'm glad to hear. I, this is so cool to hear. And, uh, and that thank you. You're like on your way to living your dreams. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. 